First and foremost, our hearts go out to those impacted by this horrific crash here today in Kailua. Honolulu EMS, the Kailua unit, was responding on another call right here, about 30 feet away from the crash, when they heard a horrific bang. They turned around and they saw the helicopter on fire. When they got there, neighbors were doing a heroic job trying to put out the fire and also trying to get the patients away from the burning aircraft. EMS assisted, got two of the patients from the burning aircraft, but at that time, the two were deceased. At this time, we do know that there are a total of three fatalities and the investigation will be going to the NTSB as well as the FAA. When we arrived, we got the call at 9.13. Our first unit arrived at 9.18 and did find a, a small fire that was involved uh, with, the, with the crash, the uh, helicopter. So our folks went ahead and uh, took over from the, the great neighbors that were trying to do their very best and uh, put the fire out. The fire was under control at 9.23 and it was fully extinguished at night. I'll add though that there was a driver of another vehicle on the road whose car did get hit by a piece of debris. Just shows you the impact of this crash. However, uh, thankfully she was okay along with a number of people that were in the area all uninjured. Um, HPD is there, HFD is there, EMS is there. Um, talked to Chief Ballard, the Chief of the Honolulu Police Department, talked to Deputy Chief Kamara of the Honolulu Fire Department. All hands on deck to see what they can do. Um, we're going to be reaching out to the NTSB now to have the investigation done to find out what occurred and try to clear the street. It's a pretty busy thoroughfare. We want it opened up again, but we don't want to interfere with the investigation and gathering all the evidence necessary to find out what happened.